Hi, it's David in the Glass Studio. We've got some interesting things going on in our studio right now because we have decided to transition from being a stained glass studio that uses lead to becoming a stained glass studio that's lead free. Now, uh, one of the things that uh, brought that decision about was that Jeannie went and had her blood tested the other day and she had a very minor amount of lead in her bloodstream, but we don't feel like any uh, amount of lead in your bloodstream is a good idea. And so that's prompted us to go from solder with lead. Once this uh, solder with lead is used up, we'll be going to exclusively to the lead-free solder. I want to show you, here's the lead-free solder going on. I'm just going to put a blob here. And that looks okay. Now here is the solder with lead going on. Now you can see the difference is that the solder that doesn't have lead, let, let me do it again, it doesn't flow as evenly. Um, it, do you see what happens here? It stays right where I drug it and doesn't flow out any farther. Over here, with the stuff with the lead in it, I'm going to do it again. And see how it, it just acts more like it's liquid. Now, there, the, the reason, there's some reasoning behind that. 640 uh, melts at uh, 370 degrees. 6337 melts at about 361 degrees and this lead free um, melts at the highest of all. There are quite a number of uh, things that uh, that happen when you're using this solder. Now see now I want to show you how as I'm as I'm going along with the lead free solder see what's happening here? I have to babysit it all the way. Look at that. See, it stays in the same place and it shrinks just like the other solder would. But you see what I'm doing? I have to I have to just physically pull it along. Now they say uh, I was reading an article about electronic soldering and they've gone over to lead-free solder in electronics. One of the things that they've found is that your tip won't last as long because you have to have hotter solder temperatures. And you have and one of the things about this this soldering, I don't know if you can see my tip, but it's getting kind of um, oh, there's some oxidation forming on it. And so you have to keep your tip very, very clean as as your um, as your soldering. And they say that you get about a quarter or less of your tip life. But you see, see how how. The solder has a tendency to just stay right where I put it, and and only. And I, I've soldered um, a whole window, and I and I can really see that this technique is going to be a little bit. Um, it's going to take a little more work. Now, what I'm going to do over here is is do some with the with the. Uh, solder that's got lead in it so you can see once again how how it, it flows differently
for some reason this well it seems easier to me now I think maybe some of it is that the technique is just different it's not the same as it was before but the people in the electronics industry uh, talk about many different things. Now I noticed that that the lead free has a tendency to wrinkle up more and ball up. It just doesn't, it, it seems to be a flow difference. It's almost as if you don't have, it's like you left, you forgot to put flux on your on your window in some places. See how nice this is flowing and maybe you can't see much of a difference but I can really feel it. And I'm going to switch back to the stuff with the the lead free again just to you know see if I can illustrate the point. You see how it doesn't even hardly flow off of the soldering iron as well? I put it right on top of the iron to get it to, to flow off. And then, did you see that? It just stood there in a ball. It just, see it stands right there instead of flowing. So I have to, you know, touch it on either side, get the whole thing um, liquid. So this is part of the choice that we're that we're making. We've decided we're going to go lead free, and so I guess we'll live with that choice. One of the things that's nice about it, though, I don't know how how well the camera picks up the difference. If you look very closely on this side, everything looks very shiny, and over on this side, it looks a little more gray. And that is because of uh, this, uh, there's no lead on this side, and so it doesn't have that tendency to go gray. Um, the way they make this solder is that they add um, different uh, uh, replacements for, for the lead. You know, tin is an element, and it's famous for being mixed with copper when they made uh, tools in the Bronze Age. But uh, some of the chemicals that they put in with, with the lead-free are, um, let me think, uh, uh, copper, silver, bismuth, um, zinc, and antimony. And I think that this has a, lot, has a lot of antimony in it. I don't know what antimony is, but uh, I'm glad that they've come up with some. It is, it is more expensive. Now... Uh, this solder right here today is 50% more than this solder. Now, uh, a couple months ago, this solder was twice as much as this one, as this. So I'm happy to report that this came back down in price. Anyhow, this has been David Gom in the glass studio with our exciting uh, changes, switching over from a lead-based uh, studio into a uh, lead-free studio. Thank you.